What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another rendering materials video for you. So um, a while ago I made a video talking a little bit about PBR materials and how you could use them inside of your renderings. I thought I would continue that series by talking about the different kinds of PBR material maps um, and uh, getting more in depth into the different kinds in individual videos. So if there's something specific you'd like me to talk about with these maps and materials materials, leave a comment below and let me know. Um, but let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so I wanted to talk through, in this video, I wanted to talk about roughness and gloss maps. And so these are going to be the maps that are going to make your uh, reflections look a lot more realistic. And so to start off, what I want to do is I want to go to the website texturehaven.com. So you can just go to Texture Haven. So Texture Haven is a great website where it has 100% free textures. They are all crowd supported. So you can see how they have a certain number of patrons in here supporting them. So if you like what they're doing, uh, you can definitely support them as well. But in any case, the textures and materials they make available are 100% free. And so to start off, let's go up to our textures and let's click on the floor textures. And specifically, I want to look at these two textures. So because they've got a little bit of shininess on them, I wanted to talk about the maps that make the shininess more realistic. And so let's start by looking at the Marble Zero One material. So if you click on this and you look at it, you can see how it's a material that's got some sunlight that bounces off of it. Um, it's a fairly smooth tile, but it's something that shows a pretty good reflection. And if you look off to the right, you can see how when you click on download, you can download all of these different maps. Right, And we talked about those a little bit in the PBR materials video, which I will link to um, in the notes down below. Um, but specifically what I want to focus on is I want to focus on the roughness map. And so when you download this material, so when you download those materials, you're going to get six files and they're going to look like this. And so if you look at these, you can see how you have a number of different materials in here. So you have the diffuse map, which is the actual texture image that gets tiled. You've also got displacement, you've got normals, ambient occlusion, specular, and also roughness. And so I want to focus specifically on the roughness for right now. And so what a roughness map does is a roughness map basically tells your rendering engine where reflections should go. And so if you take a look at this image, so if we were to double click on it, open it up and look at it, you can see how what it is, is it's basically this texture, but it's got darker it's got a darker color in some areas and a lighter color in other areas. So if you're to zoom in on this, you can see how what you've got is you've got a darker material here and a lighter material here. And so this is a roughness map and the roughness map in this case is using light and dark information to tell your rendering engine where things should reflect. And so with a roughness map, um, the darker areas are the areas where this should reflect the lighter areas are the areas where you don't want your light to reflect. So if you think about like a tile material, right, it's got these grout lines in here and you don't necessarily want this to reflect at the grout lines because the grout is not a reflective material. And so this is showing you that you won't get reflected light along these lines, but you will get it along these darker areas. So let's go ahead and take this and let's apply it to a rendering engine. And in this particular situation, I'm going to use Enscape. Um, you can use any rendering engine that you want. Most rendering engines have slots for either roughness or gloss maps, which we'll talk about a gloss map in a little bit. But for right now, let's go ahead and let's add this as a material in our SketchUp model. So we're just going to go into materials and this is going to be over in your tray and you're going to click the plus button to add this material. And we'll go ahead and we'll call this um, floor tile light. And you're going to check the box for use texture image. And when you do that, you're going to go find that image that we were talking about. And so in this case, for your texture material, remember that you want to load the diffuse map in. So we're just going to double click on the diffuse map. You can see how that gives us our texture material. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and I'm going to apply this to the floor. And so first thing you're going to notice is this isn't big enough. So we're just going to go in here and edit this and maybe make it like five foot by five foot. So just go into edit mode and just change the size of the tiling over here. So now what we have in here is we have a floor, we have a window that's going to let light in, and then we've got our little table over here. I don't think that's even going to show up in our reflections. So if we were to take a look at our render right here, 
you can see how we've got kind of a dim space. And you can also see how even though we've got light coming through the window, nothing is really reflecting off of our floor tile right now. And the reason for that is because we haven't given this any information for how the material should reflect inside of our rendering engine. So what it's doing is it's tiling this material in here but it's not calculating any reflections because we haven't given it any information. And so what we need to do is we need to go into our rendering engines material editor. In this case, again, I'm using Enscape, but I'm just gonna go to my Enscape materials. And usually what you need to do, just to kind of show you, is you wanna select using the, uh, the sample paint tool, you wanna select this material. You can see how when you select this inside of SketchUp, it selects inside of Enscape. And again, um, different render engines do this a little bit differently, um, but they all have the slots, or most of them have the slots, and uh, you're gonna change most of the same things. And so if you look at this right now, what this is doing is it has a roughness applied to this material. So if we go down to our reflections, you can see how there's a roughness applied to our material. Well, when this material is rougher, um, it reflects light less. However, and I'll bring my render engine back over here so you can see this. I'm gonna slide this roughness down to maybe like 50% and take a look at what this does inside of Enscape. So you can see how when I slid my roughness down, what happened was because this material isn't as rough, it's now simulating light bouncing off of it. And I'm gonna bring this roughness down to maybe like 25%. And you look, if you look at this now, you can see how you're getting light bouncing off of the floor from your window. So when you turn your roughness down, what happens is you get light bouncing off of your floor. But there's a problem with the way this light is bouncing off of our floor right now. And the problem with this is if you look at it, you can see how this is happening uniformly, meaning that I'm getting light bouncing off of the floor, not just on my smooth tile material, but also on my grout material in between the tiles. And so that's not gonna work because we want this to look like a real, um, we want this to look like real tile, and this is a little bit unrealistic realistic, right? So the eye looks at this and whether it's conscious or not, it looks at this and says, okay, this isn't real because the light is being bounced off of the rough materials as well as the shiny materials. And so what we want to do is we want to go back into our material editor over here and we want to load in the texture map for our reflections. And so what we're going to do is under the texture option, we're gonna click the plus button and we're gonna go find this roughness map. And so this roughness map, if we double click on it, is gonna get loaded into this material. And so when we do that, notice that the slider went away. So you can't just use a blanket roughness map anymore or a blanket roughness value anymore because this actually has a map telling this where the reflection should go now. So now, if we were to look at this, a little bit closer, you can see how we're getting a much more realistic reflection in here. So we're getting reflections coming off of our floor over here, but we're not getting it coming off of our grout. And so what that means is that means that now the light is acting in a more realistic way than it normally would. So you can see how even though this is subtle, it gives you a much more realistic look for your different kinds of tiles um, and other shiny objects in your rendering engine. And so real quick, what I want to do is I want to talk about a different kind of map, which is a gloss map. And so sometimes when you download maps from certain places, and a good example of that is Megascans, for example. Um, if I downloaded a material from Megascans, and I look at my tile over here, and I'll go ahead and split these. But on the left-hand side, you can see how I have the maps that I got from Texture Haven. So including this roughness map, well, you can see how if I look at these, uh, these maps from Megascans, I don't have a roughness map, what I have instead is a gloss map. And so a gloss map is basically the inverse of a roughness map. So where with a roughness map, the darker areas are supposed to reflect, with a gloss map, it's the opposite, right? So if we look at this tile material right here, um, you can see how where with the other one, the tile areas that are supposed to reflect are dark. Well, in this case, the tile areas that are supposed, supposed to reflect are light. So if we were to zoom in and look at this, you can see how our grout edges, which are not supposed to reflect, are dark, and these are light. So it's basically the opposite. And so these can be used interchangeably. Most rendering engines have a way to invert this. And so let's say, for example, that we were to add this tile material. So we'll call this one shiny tile. And I'm going to load that shiny tile material in. 
click on OK and we'll go ahead and apply that to our floor. And so if we look at this, you can see how you're getting that same result that we were before, right? Where you get that like blanket reflection that you don't necessarily want. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna load this map in. So we'll go to our maps, click the plus button, and we're gonna load in our gloss map like this. However, if you look at our gloss map right now, you can see how Enscape is set up by default to reflect using a reflection map or a roughness map, not a gloss map. And so what we need to do is we need to go into our settings and we need to invert this. And so we can do that in Enscape by clicking in here, clicking on the button for inverted. And so when you click on the button for inverted, what that's gonna do is that's gonna flip the dark and light values so that now this is acting as a roughness map. So now if we were to go back into our rendering, you can see how this is acting properly, right? So we're getting reflections off of our tile. We're not necessarily getting reflections off of our, uh, off of our grout lines anymore. So if you ever get a gloss map, you just need to invert the values. And most programs have a way to do that um, in order to get that more realistic look. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Um, I'm planning on going through and talking about the other maps in more depth as well. Um, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. If you have any questions, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.